everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Stormy Stormboard and if you're not new here, I'm still Stormy. And today, I'm dressed as a cat girl. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Why am I dressed as a cat girl? Because today, we're taking the kink test! Yay! So we're doing like the BDSM kink test to figure out like what I am. Am I a top? Am I a bottom? What am I into? Yada yada. This test will tell us all. And if you could, go follow me on my socials. Tiana, I'll leave it to you to do something cool social-wise. What's in a can of Del Monte green beans? So I guess before we start, I'm gonna say I'm definitely top. I'm not a fucking top, no. I'm probably gonna be, I'm gonna assume like a 100% a brat. That's what I'm assuming I'm gonna be. I don't know. In different aspects of life, I'm very different. So like when it comes to like business or like, you know, my career, shit like that, I'm very, very like top bitch. Like I take control of every single thing, yada, yada. But then in like other parts of life, my man's is like, you know, you're my bitch now. I'm like, yeah, I am your bitch. Let me know some more. So I don't really know what I am. This test will be very growing for all of us. So yes. Oh my God, my eyes are burning. Oh my God, Tiana, they're doing the thing again. They're doing the crying thing. I think it's my contacts, I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna rush this, my eyes are on fire. Disclaimer for this video, I am autistic and take shit as it literally says. Be patient with the neurodivergentness. Yours truly, Stormy. All right, so we are gonna get in and get started on this test and we are going to figure out what we are. So the first question is, you have a normal taste in sex, just as the majority of people who are not into BDSM or other kinky practice and all of your sexual behaviors are within the range of normality. Wait, what? Wait, I'm confused. Wait, to, to what extent do you agree with each other? Wait, is that like, I 0% agree? Or like, I 100% agree with what they're saying? Oh wait, maybe that's what they mean. Oh my God, my eyes hurt. Oh, I'm struggling today, boo. I'm struggling today, okay. You're not into BDSM or kinky practice and all your sexual behaviors are within the range of normality. I'm literally dressed as a cat girl. As a slutty cat girl. And was setting slutty cat girl pictures to- Speak of the devil. That timing, oh my god! I have a normal taste in sex. No, uh, I'm gonna say 100%. Wait, I think that means yes. You have a normal taste in sex. No, so if my answer's no, I think it's 0%. Because I don't agree with it. We're <laughs> probably gonna fuck up this test. Okay, you love to see exactly how far you can go by teasing, testing limits, pushing boundaries, cod, bowling, bowling, doodling. Tiana, what does that say? What is this word? Here, I'll highlight it. I don't know what that word means, so I'm not going to acknowledge it. Okay, so teasing, testing limits, pushing boundaries, begging, breaking rules, and you love to ask for punishment. Wait, wait, I still confuse- I, This percent thing is confusing me. Wait, wait, I think this one I do agree with. I think- so that one would be yes. I'm putting zero as no, and a hundred as yes. That's just how I'm going to do this in my brain, and the other numbers don't exist with me. You would play with a naughty, disobedient partner rather than someone submitting spontaneously during sex slash BDSM. Wait, is sex and BDSM two different things? I thought those were the same things. I have the brain cells for this. Maybe I should call Lily and be like, yo bitch, like, cause we agreed that whenever one of us needs the brain cell for like recording a video or whatever, like we would share it. And like, I feel like she's hogging it. Okay, would you play with a naughty disobedient partner rather than someone submitting spontaneously during sex BDSM. So I'm thinking what it's asking is, do I want a submissive bitch? That's how I'm interpreting, translating. That's how I'm viewing this word or this set or this sentence. I don't, oh my God. I'm gonna say, do you want a submissive bitch? Absolutely not. Would you like to give money to your partner and pay for all their expenses? Well, like, yeah, like, I mean, if they're my partner, wait, I think this is just sex. Wait, I'm so confused. How would you pay somebody? Like, do I want a prostitute? Would you? No, because they're your partner. So how could your partner be your prostitute? Would you like to give money to your partner and pay for all their expenses? So like a sugar baby or like a prostitute, they're your partner. So you're, but you're still paying them to have sex with you. Like, do, would I want like my sugar baby or like my, my prostitute to be my partner? I guess, like, if we're gonna, oh my god. Should I just do 50% in the middle, because I don't know? Or should I do 100, I don't know. I'm gonna do 50%, I don't know how to answer that. Would you like to get more nurturing and care from your partner by dressing up as a child and mincing? Mim mince? Mint making? Mint making 
childlike behavior such as doodling, blowing bubbles, and playing with dolls. I do that anyway. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I think that's just who I am as a person. So I guess yes. Like I don't do it for like like the sexy sexies. I just do it because I'm stuck in my brain. Next one. Oh my god, we're only at 8%. I thought it was just one page. Why did I choose this test? Okay, we're gonna speed run this shit. Oh my god. Would you like to have sex with more than one sexual partner? at the same time. No, oh, that sounds so fucking stressful. Like, how do you like, do my little dance, little dance. like delegate the time, the energy, or the attention? No, that sounds fucking stressful as shit. No, no thank you. Uh, would you like to completely tie up your partner during sex slash BDS? I'm like, I tied them up? Is that what it's meaning? No, I don't wanna fucking do that. That's like, why would I wanna like tie them up so then I have to do everything? Like, what the fuck? Like, I'm a pillow princess. I'm not gonna do shit. Like, it's not my fucking job. Would you be open to joining a multiple partner relationship for sexual and or emotional pleasure? Wait, there can be emotional things in this shit too? Maybe I haven't been answering these questions right. Maybe I've been confused. Oh my God, whatever. Sexual or emotional pleasure if you were single. Okay, so there's already a partnership established. I would join it if I were single, is the question name. No. I don't wanna do that because like, why would I want to like go into like a situation where these people are like already established or whatever? Like that would be horrifying. I don't even know how to connect with like one person. How the fuck am I supposed to connect with like multiple people? Will you give up on everything to fulfill your BDS and fantasies? Um, fuck no. Absolutely, what the, give up everything? Yeah, here, let me sacrifice my fucking dog for you. Here, here, you know what? Let me drain my bank account and throw it into the fucking river. Yeah, just so I can fuck you. Like, what? Why is that even a question? Will you give control of your finance? Oh, fuck no, I can already tell you I'm gonna say no to this. Will you give control of your finance, such as bank account, to your partner in the terms of how much of your own money? Oh! Okay, this question makes me so angry. This question makes me so angry because I did. I fucking did. This motherfucker took like fucking over $100,000. Ah, no, never again, never ever again will a motherfucker know how much money is in my account, know how much money I fucking make, have any sort of fucking access to my fucking bank account. I don't fucking give a fuck. If we're like married or whatever, like, and like if we have like children or some shit, like, okay, bitch, I'll make a fucking joint account and I'll throw some money in there for the fucking little, little, little kid or whatever. Bitch, you ain't touching my shit after fucking <laughs> and <laughs> fuck those fucking fucking assholes. Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? No. No, the answer is no. No, I won't. <laughs> Will you get turned on by inflicting pain on your partner, seeing marks, bruises, etc., resulting from it? Okay, I don't know. I don't know, like, how in depth that is. This is really trashy. But, like, I love when they, like, give me, like, hickeys or whatever, or, like, bite marks or, like, whatever. And I like doing that too. I just think it's really hot. I guess I'll just say yes, because I'm not doing in, per in, in between percentages. Um, will you get turned on by feeling pain and seeing marks? Or, oh, yeah. Yeah, because I'm traumatized. Will you get pleasure from watching a couple having sex in public or even or especially when they're unaware that you're watching? No, I would not. Like, oh my God, this reminds me of that TikTok. Maybe we can find it, Tiana. The TikTok of like the people fucking in New York and it was like all over TikTok or some shit. No, I would not. There's there's nothing turny on you about that. It's just like... Okay, and then like I get awkward and then I do like like my little T-Rex arms and walk away. Do you often fantasize about watching others having- I feel like this grammar is fucked or maybe I'm just fucked, but like I don't understand reading it. Do you often fantasize about watching others having sex right in front of you? No. No, I don't want other humans around me. Is that what that means? I don't fucking know. Um, do you get off- off on the idea of swapping your spouse or partner with a book. Oh, fuck no. Absolutely fucking not. So like, if I have like a partner, no, that bitch is fucking mine. Like they, they're not gonna go fuck some other fucking bitch. And if they do, I'm gonna kill them both as slowly as I fucking possibly can. <laughs> Kindly. <laughs> I'm not crazy. Okay. Does it turn you on if someone unintentionally catches you being naked or having sex? No, I don't fucking, like if somebody like walks past while I'm changing or something, like if I'm in like the fucking mall and they like walk past and I'm like changing and they're like, oh, what titties or lack of titties. No, that's just be like, sorry, I don't have titties. Like, so I'm sitting there, barbecue sauce on my titties. <laughs> <laughs> Is it more arousing to you to have sex in public rather than private spaces? Wait, what? Is it more arousing? Arousing. Arousing, I think arousing means like, is it 
more exciting. Is that what that means? Say no. I don't know. I don't fucking know. You like to play a different age other than your current biological age and have your partner treat you accordingly. I mean, I guess that kind of goes just back to like my personality. Like I don't fucking act my age. Like I know that. I know I act like, I don't know if it's like immature or dumb bitch <laughs> personality, but like I don't act like all like, I'm a full grown fucking woman and shit. Look at me make coffee in the morning. Like I don't fucking do that. That's not me. And I do want like a partner who's gonna like treat me like myself. Cody's me, bro. Let me be me. I would just say yes to that if that's what that means. Imagine that you were a lion. But would you enjoy chasing your prey, taking all kinds of action from biting, scratching, kicking, hitting to capture it? Well, I feel like this question's like a no fucking brainer. Like if you're a fucking lion, like yeah, you're gonna go have to like hunt the fucking like deer thingies or like the coyotes or whatever because if you don't, you'll fucking die. That's not even like a, I, I feel like that has nothing to do with fucking fucking somebody. If you're a goddamn lion, you need to go eat the animals to be, keep living. It's a metaphor, Brian. Imagine that you were a rabbit and you enjoyed being hunted by a predator after grueling fighting, taking all kinds of actions from biting, scratching, kicking. Okay, why? This makes no fucking sense to me. Like maybe I'm taking this too literally and it's supposed to be, um, te not techni technicality. What is it, metaphorically? If I was a rabbit, I understand that I'm like a fucking prey animal and why would I want to be hunted by a predator? My entire life would be like running and hiding and if you're, I mean, I guess if you're a bunny, you're also fucking a lot. But like, if I was fighting for my fucking life and I was fucking losing, like why would I be happy with that? Like I'm gonna fucking die. No. If your partner is not into threesome or any sexual practice, will you see others to fulfill your desire or your sexual desire? Like if me and my partner disagree on like sexual preference or some shit, either talk it out, work it out, or break up. Not gonna go fuck somebody else while you're in a fucking relationship like, oh, I don't like the way you dick me down. Okay, I need to go run to the store really quick. Then you go get dicked down and then you come home and be like, yeah, here, a fucking milk. Like what the fuck? No, that's, that's fucking cheating. That's literally cheating. If you are not sure whether you will like something or not, will you at least give it a go? Yeah, like I don't fucking care. If you are not into threesome, or any other sexual practice, will you encourage your partner to see others to fulfill their desire? No, that's fucking cheating. Ew, gross. Have you or your spouse slash partner ever engaged in swapping sexual partners with another couple? No, I mean, all my exes cheated on me, but I didn't. I should have, I didn't. Does it arouse you to pee on your partner and treat them as a urinal? What the fuck? Oh my God, that reminds me of what you <laughs> fucking pee on me. This motherfucker would literally be so drunk, this bitch would fucking pee on me. He'd pee on the couch, he'd pee on the counters. He would just whip his dick out and just pee like all fucking over because he was so fucking wasted. Oh my God, no. By being physically restricted, including but not limited to restrictions of body movement, breath, vision, hearing, and even orgasm during sex slash BDSM. I'm so confused. I really thought BDSM was sex, but I guess they're two different things. Sure. Does it arouse you to be peed on? Oh my God, why are people peeing on fucking people? I don't like <laughs> that shit. You enjoy the idea of your spouse or partner cheating on you or having sex with another person or group of people. That is fucking vile. No, never. I would literally cut off his dick, shove it so far up his ass that it comes out his throat and he gags on it. And then I'm gonna fucking slaughter the bitch in front of him. Daddy, chill. I'm a really nice girl. I'm not crazy, I'm so chill. I'm a very chill girl. <laughs> Do you value the romantic aspect the most in a relationship? Well, like, uh, aren't you supposed to have like romance in a relationship? Do you think that you are kinkier than others given that you have more sexual fantasies to try out? I feel like I'm like kinkier than others because of like like the like work I do. Or maybe it's also because I live in Utah and everybody's vanilla and bland as bacon sick as fuck. They're like, I would like never choke my partner. I would like never pull their hair. I'm like, that's like the bare minimum. Like what the fuck, oh my God. You think of your partner as a superior in BDSM, thus it is your duty to serve them with the utmost respect. I mean, I believe in respecting your partners no matter what. Like if you choose a partner, your guys are supposed to be like equal in respect to each other. Like always, not just in sex, I feel like. Do you think it's quite adorable for your partner to dress up like a child and mimic childlike behavior such as doing the bubbles and playing dolls? 
I don't give a fuck. Like, if that's their personality, like, fucking go for it. Like, I don't give a shit. Like, I wish, like, that more people would, like, play with me. Like, when I want to go, like, play with fucking bubbles or some shit, instead of having these assholes who are like, can you, like, grow the fuck up? Like, all my exes would be like, can you, like, not do that? Can you act your fucking age? And I'm like, <laughs> the fuck like i would love it if my partner would like actually do shit with me like if they would go blow bubbles with me better yet they blow the fucking bubbles and i just get to play with them that's what i need in my life oh my god that should be like a little standard on my checklist like you have to be the bubble blower so i can go live my best life playing in the bubbles <laughs> <laughs> it's a giraffe! Do you often feel free to unleash your animal instincts in bed? Roaring, howling, biting. I do like biting. I don't know about the other ones. Roar! Give me that dick! Arr! Let me munch on them nutty. <laughs> Give me them nuts! I'm like a little squirrel! Do you love to serve your partner for the rest of your life and take it as your life purpose? I mean, so it's like to a varying degree. So if I have a partner, Obviously, they're gonna be my whole life like if I chose somebody to be a life partner Like if I chose to like be with this person marry them, whatever Then yeah, that's kind of the the, the purpose the, the point of that is to like serve them and they serve me And then we both have like the cups filled thingy Do you love to see the fear in your partner's eyes? When they know you're going to inflict pain on them. Honestly, there is nothing I love more than the fear and the number you have dialed has been changed. The new number is... So no, if I had a partner who I loved, I would not want anything to hurt them. That would be so sad. That would make me so sad. Um, do you love to have 24-7 relationship with your partner submitting to you and taking the responsibility that comes with it? Wait, what? Do you love to have a 24-7 rela- What does that mean? What is it? Isn't it all relationships 24-7? I think all relationships are 24-7. Like if it's a committed relationship because you're with them every day, 24 hours a day. I'm gonna s say yes. Do you love to be completely tied up by your partner doing sex BDSM? I feel like it could be fun if I trusted them though, because that could be like super risky. I guess if they're my partner though, I guess I would kind of trust them. Would you like to be a 24 seven sex slave? What? Without doing anything or having any social connection to others? Absolutely not! What the fuck? Why is that a question? That sounds like abuse. That's- Oh my god, that sounds like some of my relationship. Do you love to serve you? See, this grammar's fucked. Do you love to serve you? Do you love to serve your master slash mistress 24-7 with other slaves owned by him or her? <laughs> I'm not gonna push that one. Do you like to talk dirty to your partner during sex with BDSM? No, okay, I actually hate this. I hate when somebody's like, oh, like, talk dirty or whatever, because I'm just over here like, you're really cute, like, this is a great time. I'm so shy, like, like, I can text like a motherfucker, like, online, like, that's like where I, like, dominate the space, but the second it moves past, like, electronic barrier, and I am then put into a situation where I have to like look at this like breathing human being in front of me. I'm just like, oh no! <laughs> so I'm gonna say no. I wish I had the social ability to be able to do this. I do not. I don't possess it at all. You enjoy having control over your partner during sex and BDSM? No, like fucking like throw me the fuck around. Like, do you like to film it during sex BDSM and upload it on like porn sites? I feel like because I have an OF, I am like legally obligated to say yes, so we're just gonna say yes. <laughs> so I feel like if I say no, everybody's just gonna like fucking come at me like, eh. Do you like to be bossed around by your partner in the bedroom? Again, I don't know how to take these questions. Like, like they're bossing me around, they're like, hey, fucking vacuum my floor. I'm gonna be like, vacuum your own fucking floor. Like, what the fuck, I'm not your fucking maid. But it, like, or do they just mean like, like, you had, you, you, you could get on the bed. And like, yeah, that's nice. I'll just say it's probably that one because I don't know why I would be vacuuming their floor. <laughs> oh my god, we're at 69%. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, you enjoy being addressed with respectful titles by your partner and making them follow your order without question. What? You enjoy being addressed. What does respectful titles mean? Like they're calling you like baby or like babe or whatever? Like, like they give you like a nickname? Because I love nicknames. But making them follow your order without question, that sounds weird. I'm gonna say no. It whips you up into sexual frenzy when your partner says, say something, it says something. Overly vulgar and 
erotic during sex or BDSM. Like if they say something like fucking out of pocket, I would find that fucking hilarious. And I, okay, if you can make me laugh, like I don't know if laughing is like a fucking kink or whatever. If you can make me laugh, I'll fucking love you forever. So if they, like, they said something that was like so out of pocket and like fucked up that either I laugh or it makes me like fucking fall in love with them because I'm like, that is not something a human should ever say. And you just said it. Oh my God, like you have my heart forever. Do you have a thing for large age gaps and hooks up, hookups or relationships? Yeah. Younger me had an issue. Younger me had older daddy issues, we'll just say. Not, not anymore, we worked on that. So they know now because that is traumatic. Do you get arousal from treating your partner with little to no respect, such as degrading or humiliating them sexually? No. I would never want to like disrespect my fucking partner. Obviously, if they're your partner, like like I said, I want us to be like equal respect or whatever. Do you get arousal from being treated with little or no respect from your partner, such as being degraded or humiliated sexually? Like, do I like them like saying degrading things? Like, oh, like that's my good little slut. Yeah, it's fucking hot. And sometimes, you know, you re-listen to like voice messages just to like sometimes hear that shit. Like you just sit there sometimes and like scroll through old texts and you're just like, you know what, that's fine. I, from what I understand, I'm not speaking from experience. The idea of torturing someone sexually sounds quite appealing to you. No, we don't, I, I don't, I don't plan on torturing a human being in, in this life. Does it sound appealing to you to be t tortured sexually? I don't want anybody to be tortured, oh my God. Literally cut off his dick, shove it so far up his ass that it comes out his throat. And Do you enjoy the challenge of keeping up with the mischievous antics of your partner? I can't even keep up with my fucking self. I don't want to keep up with somebody else. Do you naturally enjoy taking on a caring and nurturing role in a relationship? I feel like that's the point of a relationship is like you both care and like nurture each other. Like you both support each other and help each other grow. Is this not the, am I so lost right now? Am I misunderstanding something? I feel like these are like fucking like asking me like how much of a toxic person I am in relationships. Obviously everybody should like care and nurture for their people, whether you're like partners or friends or family. That's like what you're supposed to do when you love people is like you take care of them and like make sure they're happy or whatever. Do you enjoy taking control of your partner's finance and run? No, okay, no, again. So when it comes to like the whole money thing, no. Everybody should have their own fucking finances. Whatever he's got going on, that's his business. Whatever I got going on, that's my business. Do you enjoy keeping your partner as a pet? What? Providing them with a cage and feeding them out of bowl and petting and caressing them? Oh yeah, totally. No, absolutely. no, I, I don't, I don't do that. <laughs> Clearly I'm the cat girl, so like. Do you enjoy being naked and having sex in front of other people? Again, I feel like I'm legally required to say yes because I have an OF. We'll just say yes. Do you enjoy dressing up and behaving like a pet animal for your partner? Yeah. But behaving like a pet animal? Give me like that squirrel, give me them nuts, oh my god. I'm gonna say yes. <laughs> Do you enjoy being kept as a pet by your partner? But like, I have to be in the cage? No, I don't want to be in the cage. Do you dream about living with a group of slaves serving you 24-7 for the rest of your life? I mean, like, low-key, that's kind of my job. Like, I kind of just have my little sims. And I do hope they serve and pay me for the rest of my life, so sure! Do you consider money as your primary kink and enjoy the idea of enhan enhancing power through financial dominance? No. Do you enjoy being cared for and guided by your partner during BDSM or in a relationship? No fucking shit, like what the fuck? Like yes, I want my partner to care for me. Yes, I want them to guide me and support me and like help me reach my goals and my dreams and all that shit. That's what you're supposed to do for each other. Being naughty and disobedient to make your, to, to make your partner can be fun interaction can make for fun interaction. You, you can do so, you. Am I illiterate or are these people illiterate? Being naughty and disobedient to your partner can make for fun interaction in BDSM. Yes. Do you feel proud of taking good care of all the household chores for your partner to make them comfortable at home? If I actually liked the partner I was with and like they had a really hard day at work or whatever like that and they like, you know, they should just come home to a nice clean house. Yeah, I would totally be like so happy to do that for them. What? Oh my God, we're getting our results. Okay, test results. 100% rope bunny. 100% girl boy. And no shit, I'm a fucking girl or boy. 100% brat. No, okay, I did get 100% brat. That one I knew I was gonna get. 
95% submissive, 80% age player, 80% degrady, 80% experiment experimentalist. What you want him to do? 80% daddy or mommy. Oh my god, I'm a dummy mommy. <laughs> 65% pet. Oh my god, little cat girl. 60% exhibitionist. Like a museum? Like I want a museum? Wait, what does that have to do with anything? 60% prey. 60% um, masochist. 60% primal. 60% slave. 60% master mistress. I feel like I'm literally half and half of everything. 40% owner, 40% dominant, 30% cuckold. What the fuck is a cuckold? 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 25% vanilla! What the fuck? 20% brat tamer. So I'm the most girl or boy, and the most real bunny, and the most brat. And then I'm a submissive, age player, degrady, and experimentalist. And I'm also a dummy mommy. Okay guys, so that is the test. That is my results. Thank you guys so much for watching me be illiterate and taking a test that I probably fucking screwed up on somewhere somehow. But thank you guys so much for watching another video. I put out a new video every Friday, so make sure you go check that out. Make sure you go give me a follow on my socials. Tiana does something cool right here. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Everybody have a great day or night or whatever the fuck you're doing. Okay, bye guys! We're gonna hope I didn't fuck that up. <laughs>